uh, on the onion prices, I mean, uh, clearly um, this hike was not meant to quell onion prices. We have uh, no immediate capacity to bring down onion prices. Uh, it is an issue, as you said, uh, 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 how much is supply, how much is, uh, is demand. Clearly, demand hasn't shot up suddenly to cause the sudden spurt in onion prices. So there clearly is an element of, uh, of, uh, of this uh, of, um, you know, supply side uh, effects here. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, the thing that people who keep insisting this is just supply side miss is take something like core, core CPI, take out food, take out fuel from CPI, and it's still growing at eight eight and a half percent. That is uh, inflation, which is driven by things like services, which is not picked up by WPI. So when people ask me why are you following both, because WPI is uh, misses some aspects of inflation, it picks up other aspects, and that's why we have to look at both. Uh, WPI inflation is, uh, sorry, CPI inflation is what the common man experiences. And that includes things like medical services, includes things like education, it includes things like construction. And he, he or she has to pay for that. So we cannot sort of focus on one element of inflation, that is WPI inflation, and ignore the other element. And the other element is more than just food. Yes, food is a big part of CPI, but core CPI has also been growing very strongly. And that has us worried. 